What is up guys? First of all, thank you very much for all of your comments under my last video. I really appreciate your support. I also have got a little story to tell you. By a stroke of a good luck, I recently had a little windfall, enough so that as I was recording the first version of this narration, a brand new 3DS XL was on my desk. You have no idea how happy I was to bring you the news that not only I don't have to stick with Black 2 and Y2 after all, but you are gonna see the first X and Y Wi-Fi battles soon after its release, since I'm about to get my copy somewhere around October 12th. But then I wanted to take a little break from editing and play some Rayman Origins on my 3DS. Right after I started playing, I thought, wait a minute, why can't I move up and down? From there, it didn't took long when I realized that analog stick in my 3DS is broken. So here I am, retaking this narration, not that excited anymore, because my 3DS is on its way to service for a warranty repair and by the look of things, I'm probably not gonna be playing X and Y on October 12th after all. But hey, I would rather play it on fully functioning device a few days later and at the end of the day, you are still gonna see X and Y Wi-Fi battles much earlier than I initially thought. Now let's get into today's battle, honestly there is not much to say about it, PU against Mark. Numel and Swadlun on my side, Ponyard and Quilava on his, and you know you're in for a good show. Let's get going. I felt like leading off with Pineco is obvious and he will choose a Quilava for his leading spot to counter it, which is why I decided to start the show with one and only original Porygon. No 2, no Z because it is one of the very few pokes in Pew that can not only sponge hits with Eviolite, but with download boost it can also hit hard without additional setup. Unfortunately, of all the things I happen to download Microsoft software provided by Mark, which as you would expect, fucks up Porygon's computerized brain completely, making it laggy and crashing all the time. Thankfully, my brain is still functioning properly and I can see his switch to gramping coming from a million miles off, which is why I go for a Toxic to prevent these stalwart third turns in the game. Then I switch to my specially defensive Curse Namel to take any hit from him, but he makes a good play and double switches right back to Kotony predicting that. I'm pretty sure that this thing works in a very similar way to its evolution, meaning that it can't really touch me and is just meant to sit there and piss me off and I'm having none of that. That is why I switch right back to Porygon, because although it's now slow and laggy, its offensive capabilities remain the same and I can take him out with any attack. He taunts me and then switches to Grumpy to take a hit. But look, that is why Porygon is one of my favorite PU pokes. You might be especially defensive Grumpy, but I have max special attack and plus one from download, so with a little help from toxic damage, tri attack is a solid free hit KO and even with Eviolite, Psychic does less than half. That is impressive. Sadly, that is all for Porygon today because he avenges his Grampix's death immediately by bringing out the big guns and revenge kills me with what I assume is a Specs eruption. Quite an overkill. That however gives me an open window to go back to my Numel and set up a curse, but Mark, despite using very uncommon pokes, makes a very solid teams out of them, so he is prepared for such possibility as cursing Namel, goes straight to his coughing and negates it with a clear smoke. So looking at this matchup, you can notice that this isn't going anywhere. But hell, that didn't stop us from wasting your time. Ladies and gentlemen, the following are the second stupidest competitive battle turns after Metapod Harden battle. Enjoy. Clear smoke does nothing. Curse is pointless since it's negated with another clear smoke, which still does nothing. And so does Rock Slide. Thunderbolt, I'm immune to it. Another useless curse, maybe this time he won't notice it. Nope, he did. Clear smoke, nope, no damage, rock slide, still nothing, and he is out of there. That was fun, wasn't it? Anyway, in comes Stantler, I switched to Pineco expecting a return or an earthquake, but that would be way too mainstream for Mark's standards. Instead, he set up a war cap on my switch and then scores a crit psychic, allowing me to just set up my rocks before Pineco bites the dust. I go back to Numel, thinking that I can take to hit, set up a curse and revenge kill him with an earthquake, but he surprises me once again, reveals that it is in fact a mixed attacker and plus one retaliate does way too much damage. However, then he decides to switch up his attack to psychic, probably afraid that retaliate might not be enough to finish me off with plus two defense, but it turns out that it's not enough either, as I live with 4 HP, Numel saving the day. He then goes to Ponyard for an easy revenge kill, but I figure that now is a good time to reveal the ultimate strategy behind my team, 
involving and highly relying on my button pass Swadlon. You heard me. See, Swadlon's offensive capabilities might be outclassed by many pokes in PU, namely its evolution, but the same cannot be said about its bulk, especially with Ivarelite. True, Back and Grass is one of the worst defensive typings, but if you manage to bring Swadlon against something that isn't a fire or flying type, such as the Spawnyard, your opponent can get into big trouble really quickly, as you are about to see. Having no idea what to expect from me, he just sets up a rock polish for no apparent reason as I go for a coal mine, and then hits me with a life or booted iron head in attempt to wear me down before I set up more of them, but this is when reality strikes him quite hard, as I take less than 25% from it and set up an agility. So then, instead of trying to flinch me with iron heads, he tries to score a crit with night slash, but that doesn't happen and even a crit wouldn't change a thing right there, because Matryoshka is done with her job. Button passes all of the boosts to Pikachu, and it goes without saying, Pikachu with plus 1 special attack and plus 2 speed spells trouble for any team. So really, it all comes down to who wins the mind games right there. Although Mark hasn't revealed it yet, I'm almost certain that his last move is gonna be a sucker punch. That is why I set up a substitute in hope that he goes for it, but he predicts that and breaks it with a night slash. But then, I predict him to predict me just to go for a thunderbolt thinking that he's gonna keep spamming night slashes to break my next subs, so I actually set up one more sub and that pretty much seals the deal, because now his poniard has to get pawned just to break it. Now back comes Cottony, trying to stun for me before I demolish him with another T-bolt, but he gets a sword rubbed into his wound by missing and I get another free kill. I felt pretty bad about it though, so to make up for that, I go for a nasty plot right there, pretty much giving him a free turn, but it turns out that not only Coughing's clear smoke is so weak that even Pikachu's paper thin defenses are enough to sponge it, but also, even without any boost, Thunderbolt takes him out in one shot. So he's down to his Quilava, I decide to death for their Swadlone, just to bring Octillery that is still chilling at full health and finish the game with intense Eruption vs Water Spout confrontation. He however locks himself on extra sensory, so Octillery doesn't even need to do anything, because Matryoshka is able to take one and my last move happens to be Synthesis, so realizing that he has no chance of breaking through this thing, he makes a sensible decision by forfeiting, and that is the game. Good game Mark, one of our classic battles where we both bring some random stuff with equally random results. Hope you guys enjoyed it, I still have a couple of black 2 and white 2 backups to utilize, but soon after October 12th, expect nothing other than X and Y Wi-Fi battles, so stay tuned, I see all of you next time.